How's it going guys? It's Mask here and uh, GX is out. There's more stuff going on that I even know what to do with. But anyhow, we spent a good chunk of the morning today with everyone on stream. Uh, and I got it. I got a bit of a big shout out here to one of my mods, Natic, for basically spending a, most of last night to make me this glorious layout. And, and it's, it, it's a breakdown of all the new Legendary Duelist decks, every card in them. What they do, what their effects are, and how they are con how they contribute to the positive or negative part of a farm. So we're gonna hop right into it. This is we're, we're farming Alexis Rhodes, level 40. Her real her she doesn't have many threats. This shows all her monsters here. Cyber Prima only destroys face of spell continuous spell cards. Limits our possibilities to deal with um limits our possibilities to deal or options to deal with the farm in the first place. Cyber Gymnast, we cannot use a face-up attack position monster to stall because there's three of these. So that, that takes that off the table. Uh, Cyber Teed Angels, just card draw. Tons of card draw. Constantly going to have to be countering that. Uh, Freya, pretty straightforward. Doesn't contribute that much to the farm. But Cyber Angel Dakini, when it's summoned, you can make your opponent send one monster they control to the graveyard. It also makes stalling that much more difficult. And uh, also... Cyber Angel Edatin, when it's used as ritual material, if it's tributed, all ritual monsters you control gain 1,000 attack and defense. So she can buff her, her angel to 3,700, which which obviously poses a problem as well. She can she can buff Benetton to 2,800, and then also use, these are just ritual cards, ritual sanctuary, big bang shot, to get both those cards at that point up over our labyrinth wall Last thing she's really got in the deck is Spell Shield Type 8. Something we have to think of at the end. We're gonna, we ha you have to have a way to counter it. Anyhow, we'll jump that out of the way and kind of just jump straight into the deck list. Obviously, we're, we're, we're using a Vassal Endgame. Pretty straightforward. But the really neat part about this Endgame is you guys have probably noticed by now, there is no method of summoning anything else. We only have Vassal and two cats in this entire deck. So it's a pretty fun... It's extremely fun to use, actually, and I and, and it's something I might I might use even more often. For example, we got so we got triple dimension gate going on here. We're using dimension gate to dodge. We're using dimension gate to dodge Dakini's effect. That's going to target and destroy, or target and make us destroy our labyrinth wall. And then we're going to use massive morph actually to counter the the effect that's buffing her ritual monsters by a thousand what this is going to do is after they get buffed by a thousand at that point they would have been they'll be strong enough to attack into our dimension gate holding our labyrinth wall out of play but we're going to massive morph it so it's not allowed to and it's genius and uh, uh a big shout out to Crap, and I and I and I apologize because I am forgetting your name. We've been sitting here for a good hour, and the massive morph suggestion came from someone on stream. On stream, uh, I'm I'm inviting you to get give yourself a big shout out in the chat. But uh, if I remember it, I'll I'll definitely throw it out there as well. But um, we're basically using massive morph, and then massive morph in turn is going to buff the opponent's monster so strong that to finish the game off, we're just going to econ take it, and that's it. Econ take one unit attack onto Vassal. We don't even need secret pass. Because you guys will see how crazy it gets. Let's just jump right into this farm. Oh, and then we got a login ticket bonus. There's another super rare. Alright, here we go. Uh, we're using Muyan Curry. We're gonna to give us that comeback victory and no damage. That's an, a bonus 500 points. And uh, anything else? Just really just card draw. Oh, I forgot to go over Magic Planter. Magic Planter is a... It, you don't have to have the card to make this farm work. Instead of it, you could simply use like a Jar of Greed. But Magic Planter, to recycle one of our extra Dimension Gates, we can use it. Oh, perfect. It starts my open hand so I can show it. Send one face up continuous trap card you control the graveyard. Draw two cards. So it's basically a pot of greed for us in this deck. Because we have extra Dimension Gates and we don't care about them. Now, looking at Benton staring me in the face, I had to make a decision here. I could have used the cat to get ourselves a massive morph. It's a more safe and secure way of guaranteeing we're not going to screw this farm up. But by doing that, Benton would have killed the cat and I would have taken damage. 
and it would have lost my lost points off my end game. To be honest, personally, I can afford to lose the damage because I have enough gloss, enough prismatic and gloss in this deck to, to not need that no damage as well as comeback victory to hit 8k. So I technically should be playing the cat here, but uh, I'm just I'm gonna not I'm gonna roll the dice. I mean, if you need the points, it's the difference. Difference. It will be the difference between you getting 8k or not. There's the massive morph. So my gamble paid off anyway. A lot of card draw in this deck. Chances are you're gonna you're gonna get there on your own. But the cat was there. You should have technically I should have played the cat, let it get hit, get get the guaranteed massive morph out. Then you have the you have the double combo set up to protect yourself. Now, other options, instead of Massive Morph that I've seen people use... Well, I mean, if, you, if you're changing Massive Morph, though, you actually have to change the endgame of this deck. The beauty, the beauty of this endgame is it's one of the smallest endgames I've ever been able to put in a farm deck. You're looking at Vassal. The actual endgame of this deck is just Vassal, Union Attack, and Enemy Controller, and technically the two Storms. It brings it to five, but you would, you would only need one of the Storms in a normal deck. Four card endgame. Massive Morph, I don't consider part of the endgame because it's actually part of the stall. It's part of how to get you there. So being able to dual purpose ma Massive Morph into both being part of your endgame and part of your stall is just fantastic in a farm deck. And we're, we're, right now we're waiting to draw an, an extra dimension gate. There it is. Now we're, gonna, now we're going to... Uh, actually, that just clogged by setting it there. Ugh. What I should have just done was use this Dimension Gate, then use Magic Planter, and then set the set the second Dimension Gate. Now I'm going to have to wait until I have a proper target for Massive Morph to use Magic Planter. And, I, and I'm really, I'm really waiting for her to use... There it is. So th this will be it. I was waiting for her to, to get out one of, one of the other fusion monsters, Dakini, right here. And th that'll be my... That's my Massive Morph target. Now we can just get off our... Magic Planter right now. Obviously, don't use Magic Planner if you know you don't have a second Dimension Gate to back up. Because now that this person's 6200, now that Dakini's 6200, obviously going to destroy your Labyrinth Wall. Ritual. Do I, am I keep saying fusion? Wow. My bad. I just chain my. I just chain two good Goblin House Keepings together again. Second time today I've screwed that up. Wow. You gotta use them one at a time or their their bonus effect doesn't get you the extra card. Both of those weren't even a plus one for me. They were just a cycle. <clears throat> so we're gonna set another massive morph here. Legacy, that should be good. There's our Muyang Curry coming out. We're gonna we use that to use that. You heal the, heal her. The really funny thing here too, if you ever find yourself in a bind and for some reason you want to blow her spell shield trap card. If you Muyang Curry yourself, she will use the trap card to counter it. I it, 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 I was like, okay then. Wow. If you insist. And with two turns left, we, uh, what do we have here that we can discard? A cat, obviously. Going into your final turn, you want to have both your massive morphs set if you still have two left. Sometimes you're forced to use one on Dakini and one on Benton. If Benton gets buffed up too much, it does happen. That's fine. You just want to wait as long as possible. Give her the opportunity to... Oh, actually, and that being said, if that does happen, you, you will be fine as well because... Bent, that means the Benton's over 3k, so you're just gonna, you, you still only need to use one more Massive Morph on either. Final turn here, make sure you use your Massive Morphs first.
gets absolutely ridiculous. Now we're going to use one storm. One storm should pop if it's the trap cards there. Yep, spell shield type 8. There it goes. Second storm is going to blow our dimension gate. Don't forget to use its effect in the graveyard. And uh, Econ take the monster. That's his 24,000th attack. Who needs to summon one of our own monsters? We're going to bring out Vassal. And obviously at this point, one union attack is plenty. So the, the, the amount of fat trimmed in the end game of this deck is just crazy. And it allows us to actually still have room, even though we have six cards in there to counter, the, counter um, Alexis's deck itself, we're still able to, to cram in uh, we have two two card draw for Magic Planter. If you don't have Magic Planter, it's a level up reward. You can simply throw in another jar of greed. But we're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven card draw in the deck in total, which is fantastic. Deck's gonna score 8,800, but 8,800 for me is sitting on a thousand points of Prismatic Gloss. So it's a 7,800 base deck, tons of room to get 200 points of Glossy in there. Your Mu Yang Curry should be Glossy by this point. And I mean, everyone's got... Nah, you, you're getting 8k on this deck, no matter what. You, you got... If you don't, I mean, literally put one... Take out one more of the... And by the way, if you don't have the Yadas, Jars of Greed, obviously. If you, if you don't have 8k, take out one of them. Put in one random Prismatic you have. You're good. Uh, let's run it one more time. See if see if we, we bump into any of those worst case scenarios that we can uh, feel out. Who here is ready for tomorrow? Card Fighter 159. What is happening tomorrow? This time we're going to open up with Massive Morph. No Dimension Gate, though. This could be one of those ones. I mean, obviously, we only have five math. We only, it, only five cards in the deck to get our hands on Dimension Gate. It's a race. If you could summon Dakini right now, and it's over. You're always going to have those bricked, bricked farms with this setup. It happens. Oh, the new season for Ranked, of course. No, I'm, I've am i been quite ready. This is going to be one of the craziest seasons you've ever seen in Ranked. There's just so much going on. Oh, I'm getting lucky here. I need, to, I need to... Okay, cool. Something I wanted to actually throw back in the deck. I want to hold on to this Magic Planter. There's our Dimension Gate. I'm, I'm going to keep that one set. I don't want to throw back in... I don't want to throw Magic Planter back in because it's card draw. Is it who is it? No, Benton. We don't gotta worry about Benton. Benton twenty two hundred though. This is one of those scenarios. If when she's when she goes to ritual summon, I keep saying fusion too. When she goes to ritual summon bikini now, we actually need. Hmm. Uh, I'm so worried about it. I'm actually gonna throw magic. No. Oh, I'm gonna have to throw. I'm gonna have to throw a massive morph on the bottom of the deck now, aren't I? Oh no! So I was able to draw something else. Okay, so eh. whatever. We're gonna put dimension gate in the bottom. Not that crucial. You can skill farm against Chaz with characters that get Master of Fusion. Okay, we got Massive Morph, Dimension Gate. We got all the Massive Morphs now. I I, know, I really want to get that other copy, another copy of Dimension Gate. This Magic Planter is burning a hole in my hand. There we go. Okay, so to, to do it properly this time, unlike the last farm attempt that that I, I went, I just jumped the gun and set this Dimension Gate. You're gonna use it. Just gonna Magic Planter to the extra Dimension Gate, and boom! Magic Planter is basically a pot of greed for us. There's plus two. Right, here comes, or no, it's just Benton. Ritual Sanctuary is acting as though she's probably going to complete the uh, Bikini Summon this turn. Which makes me a little nervous about not having the second Massive Morph set. 
This could get bad right here. If one of those two, oh, no, nope, she sacked Benton, we're good. Okay, so in, th in that situation, I really needed to predict this coming and predict the, the worst case scenario <clears throat> of it happening as well and go ahead and massive morph that Benton. Even though it would have been wasted, we have three massive morphs. Technically, it only takes two to complete the large majority of our end game plays. Is what could have happened there is 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 that is Benton could not have been used as, as ritual material. I'm sure I keep saying fusion and screwing that up. Uh, Dakini could have landed, let's say, in this slot. Benton's here, and then if the third ritual monster, uh, Idaton, ended up in the grave, both of them would have been buffed over 3k, and we only had one massive morph available to prevent one of the two from attacking us. And the second one obviously would have killed our killed our uh, labyrinth wall, and the farm would have been over. Preventable. You just need to see that situation coming and use one of the massive morphs early. Or have two massive morphs set. That's probably the more ideal option. Now we don't need Econ to the last turn. That can that can get bottom decked. Huyang Curry, go ahead and heal her. Locking in the extra 500 points. And we got a legacy. Card planter, level 40 Odeon. Level 40 Odeon uh, level up reward, yeah. Just neat. It's basically a pot of greed in uh, in a lot of... In, well, in our Labyrinth Builder Dimension Gate farms, straight up. I mean, I'm sure there'll be other farms where we can sneak a continuous trap card in for one or, uh, one or another reasons, too. Three massive morph. Uh, at this point, we're just going to naturally draw out, so I will set this other massive morph. Gaz Benton back in hand, so technically, there's still a play that could happen that gets Benton out on the field and big enough to get through our dimension gate. So I'm going to hold off on just blowing both of these right now. Doesn't matter. At this point, we're just going to naturally draw this game out. Oh, absolutely. Uh, card fighter. We'll definitely be trying trying new ones out for the for the new season when it starts tomorrow. Um, we can discard a cat here, and we'll, everything everything just happens on the last turn. Here we go. We made it here, which means the massive morphs can both go on. Bikini, and we're just gonna have an absolute monster. Go ahead, pop storm number one. Make sure there's only one other card in the field. I've, I've made the mistake. I have failed the farm before because I had two cards set when I popped Storm and it made me kill. Oh, it makes me kill it right now. We should have used Magic Planter. We could have used Storm and then Magic Planter to end this, and we wouldn't have come into this uh, speed bump here. It's gonna make us, gonna make us hit that big bank shot. Oh, field spell! Wow, I'm blind. Woo! Saved, saved. The whole time I'm like, oh no, what's happening? No, that field spell is pretty much always out too. By the end of the game, please. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here I am sitting here, blind scare and fail scare, and here we go, they're all just flooding through the chat now. Should have had my morning coffee. Tribute to Monster, here we go. Give me the beast. Vassal goes out, only need one union attack, and we are laughing. <laughs> Why else would you join? Fails are the best. <laughs> oh. 27-1. Hitting home for over 25k damage. There it is. Should be a 7800 base farm. I'm going to hit about 8800, I believe. And we drop. We got two drops. Picking up a Machine Angel, Absolute Ritual, and Cyber Blader. Holy smokes. And there you have it guys.
Uh, we put we put a good a good handful of work switching between different methods of setting this up. This is definitely my the, my most consistent deck I I, I can put together to, to farm Alexis with. Massive morph, working way better than things like floodgate trap hole, adhesive trap hole, divine wrath because you can pick up massive morph after. Dakini's been summoned. That's the big thing. If Dakini gets summoned first, trap hole, all the trap holes are useless. They're only activated on summon. Massive Morph being used as the counter to those monsters getting big enough to be able to attack through Labyrinth Wall is, is just phenomenal because you can focus on getting the, the, the Dimension Gate way earlier, then get Massive Gate just on time. You have half the duel usually to get the, get the, the, the Massive Morph and then to double things up, Massive Morph is playing a part of the end game of this deck. I'm really happy with the format. I mean, this, this is a one, two, three, technically 4.5 card end game, which is phenomenal. You're holding on to four cards in the end game, that's it. I've never had an end game of only four cards in, in a farming deck before. But I uh, hope it works for you guys. I'm gonna be, this is my, this is my e using every single card available to me in the game deck. So it's like the glory farm deck. I understand a lot of you probably don't, even not a lot, but some of you certainly don't have Dimension Gates if you miss the Paradox event. They're coming. Don't worry about it. Uh, the deck is mostly normals and rares. You can replace the, the legacies with Jars of Greed. Uh, the Union Attack, I mean, you guys should have a Union Attack by now, as well as the Enemy Controller, you should certainly have one of those. Magical Planter, don't don't get stuck up on it. Replace it with a Jar of Greed if you don't got it as well. And um, it's actually a pretty, it's actually a pretty friendly deck, pretty friendly build. Not a lot of this at all is unattainable. And if you don't have any of these cards that you see in this deck list, they should be top priorities because unfortunately farming is just as important as PvP in this game because you got to farm to get the cards to, to do the PvP with half the time. But um, yeah, I hope you guys have, have uh, good luck farming Alexis. Get those drops you wanted. Thanks for checking this out. If you do have a chance, you should definitely come check us out live at twitch.tv slash and That's where we recorded this video. If you were hanging out here, you would have been in the video in the chat at the bottom right. And uh, yeah, guys, check out the Facebook. And if, if you want to do that, check out my Facebook channel and my Twitter channel. Links to both those in the description down below. That's where, I'm, that's where you're going to have my schedule posted until you figure out when I'm going to be live. As well as please come join our Discord channel, guys. There's a link to that in the description down below as well. We d we hang out in Discord, have a great time, help each other build decks. Half the theory crafting for farm decks like this happen in the Discord channel or live here on stream. And that's it. All I got left to say, guys, is uh, stay classy.